Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram along with this uh, line uh, segment uh, BD such that uh, this hypotenuse uh, BC is uh, 7 units. This uh, segment uh, CD is 3 units. And finally, this segment uh, BD is 5 units. And furthermore, this angle uh, ABC is uh, X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we could calculate uh, this angle uh, X, uh, we must uh, calculate uh, this segment uh, AD first. Let's assume that this segment uh, AD we are going to label as lowercase a and I'm going to label this uh, base uh, AB as lowercase uh, b. Then we can see that this uh, whole side AC is going to be a plus 3 is going to make uh, a plus 3 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DAB and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is 5 and our other two legs are a and uh, b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have a square plus uh, b square equal to 5 uh, square. If we simplify that is going to give us uh, a square plus b square equals to 25. I'm going to label this as our equation number 1. And now let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and this time our uh, hypotenuse uh, is uh, 7 and our two other legs are a plus 3 and b. So let's go ahead and uh, fill in the blanks in the Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a plus 3 whole uh, square plus uh, b square equal to 7 square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore this could be written as a square plus 6 times a plus 9 plus b square equals to 49 on the right hand side and now we are going to move this uh, 6 uh, a and this 9 to the right hand side so therefore on the left hand side we are ended up with a square plus b square is going to be equal to 49 minus uh, 6 uh, a minus uh, 9 we are going to simplify furthermore so a square plus uh, b square equals to 49 minus 9 is going to give us uh, 40 minus uh, 6 times uh, a i'm going to call this our equation uh, number 2 and here we are ended up with these uh, two equations equation 1 is a square plus b square equals to 25 and equation 2 is a square plus b square equals to 40 minus uh, 6a and now we are going to compare uh, these uh, equations to find the value of uh, a and now we can see our left hand sides are identical both of them are a square plus b square if they are identical then we can equate our right hand sides uh, as well so therefore we can write uh, 25 equals to 40 minus uh, 6 uh, times uh, a and now i'm going to subtract uh, 40 from both uh, sides and we can see that this uh, 40 and negative 40 are gone so therefore on the left hand side we ended up with the negative 15 equal to negative 6 times a 
let me divide both sides by negative 6 to isolate uh, a so uh, we can see that this uh, negative 6 and negative 6 is gone so therefore a value if we reduce this side that is going to give us uh, 5 uh, divided by 2 and we can write this uh, a as a decimal as uh, 2.5 units so thus our this uh, segment a value turns out to be 2.5 units so i'm going to write down 2.5 over here and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, side length ac is going to be 3 plus uh, 2.5 is going to give us 5.5 uh, uh, units so therefore I have copied down this uh, right triangle ABC over here as you can see in this uh, diagram and here we can see our hypotenuse is uh, 7 units and our this uh, AC leg is 5.5 and this angle ABC is uh, X and now let's recall this uh, trigonometric ratio sine of theta is always equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse and in our case uh, our angle is x uh, so the opposite uh, side uh, is going to be this uh, ac and this is uh, our hypotenuse so therefore our sine of x is going to be opposite side is 5.5 uh, divided by 7 and if we put this one on the decimal side on the right hand side sine of x uh, is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.7857 so therefore we can write uh, that x could be written as uh, sine inverse uh, of uh, this uh, 0 0.7857 and if we use the scientific calculator our x uh, value is going to be approximately equal to 51.79 degrees so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle x value turns out to be 51.79 degrees so therefore our this angle x uh, is going to be 51.79 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye